What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. Damn, I lied again because clearly I have not been bringing you Splinterlands content the last couple of days. If you can't hear it in my voice, I've been a little bit under the weather, and I was also out of town last week or over the weekend, and so I probably caught something while I was traveling, and then it just kind of kept me sidelined here. So I didn't want to be all hacking in and coughing and wheezing during the uh, <laughs> during these videos, but the you know the the truth is I also feel like I didn't miss anything. Um, yes, I, I think the last video that I put out was the five biggest takeaways from the town hall last week, which was you know, interesting. And in that, in that town hall, we did find out that a lot of stuff that we were hoping for and, and, and waiting for is probably going to get delayed another three months or so. Uh, so, you know, the team is looking to, to really hit things hard, not over the summer, but actually in Q4 or, you know, I will say like end of Q3, early Q4. So things have just been generally quiet. Um, and I don't, you know, there's not any crazy proposals out there. It seems like, you know, community is just doing what it's going to do. There's a lot of folks selling off and, you know, I wish them all the best and it, it is what it is. But I, I think that there's still going to be uh, a group of people here supporting and playing the game and it is what it is. So uh, what I want to talk about in this video is specifically about my game plan regarding Glint in the near to mid future. Uh, now, hopefully everybody had a good end of season. I will say this. I do miss... I do miss the end of season chests. I mean, this is the first season that we had without any of that fanfare. And it's just like, oh, okay, like here's your glint. And so, yes, I could go and I, I, I normally would have gone and just, you know, opened up a bunch of things in the shop. Uh, you can see here I have about 200,000 glint, which is, which is a solid amount, right? But the reason I'm making this video is because I've made the decision that I no longer want to spend any of my glint in the near term. And there's a reason for that. It's because... These draws, while they were good in the beginning, they're killing me now. I can't like I can't stomach doing, you know, elite and master draws and literally getting a common card that I already have multiple hundred, you know, copies of. And so I have decided to wait. I've decided to wait because the team, I think, has recognized they said this in the town hall. It was one of my my kind of things that I covered there. They've said that, you know, they are considering a lot of other options, including guaranteed rarity. So even if it costs significantly more than a master draw, if I know that I can get epics and legendaries from these, I would much rather spend my glint there. And I think that this is actually a feature of the system, right? Because now I can save, right? I can I can have a low time preference on this and not just, you know, before it was like, oh, okay, they're going to make a change, but you're still going to get your rewards and they're going to be garbage. Now I can save it up. Uh, I don't know when it'll come out. I'm hoping next season, but if not, maybe next two seasons or next month, whatever the case is. But I, I don't have a reason at this point to really go for the master draws. Um, I mean, granted, yes, some of them have been good, so I don't want to I don't want to be complaining all that much. But my main focus is on getting the cards that I need. And there were just too many draws that I did elite and master draws last season that were just garbage. They, they were just I mean, like. I, I couldn't stomach spending another 5k and getting a common card, right? Yes, I got some legendaries. It was good uh, or some epic cards. So on the whole, you know, it, there's a good balance there. But I'm tired of RNG. I mean, I, I mean, I get it. Like, that's a big part of the game. But I'm just tired of RNG. I would rather remove as much RNG, pay the premium for that, and just wait it out. Because we know that the team is focusing on that. So, again, I have no idea when this stuff is going to come out, when it's going to release. But uh, I, I can't imagine that I'm the only one looking forward to this. So, as we move forward... I'm just not going to spend any more glint, uh, at least until the next town hall, because hopefully at that point, we'll be able to get an idea of where the team is at in terms of taking in feedback from the first full season. And, you know, by the next town hall, we'll probably be season and a half ish, right? Or, or maybe close to two seasons at that point of the data that the team is looking to collect. And maybe they'll have some some action plans or some time frames at that point. But right now, it's not like, you know, yeah, there's certain cards that I'm missing. Uh, obviously, Iziar is probably the biggest one that are crucial for the meta, especially at the higher leagues. And so, yeah, could I keep on spending on these master draws to try and get it? I could. But, you know, I, the, the RNG is just is just too high for me. Uh, I, it's just too too terrible for me. So I would I would much rather just hold on to the glint, use it once there are better things to buy in game and, and just go from there. And no, I'm not saving up for a title. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. But at the same time, it's like. I don't know. <laughs> so at this point in time, this is uh, this is my game plan for Glint. 
obviously there is a very limited amount of time between when you know uh, between now and whenever the the next set of reward cards come out. So hopefully, uh, you know, I'm able to thread that needle. But if for any reason, like the new reward cards come out and then they just do the the changes after that where you get guaranteed rarities, I don't know, maybe that'll end up happening. But until we get clarity on that, I'm just not planning on spending any more glint. I'm going to hold on to it and uh, and just see where things go from here. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. I just want to give you a little update on what my game plan is right now in terms of spending my rewards. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.